You see them at almost every basketball game and football game performing nearly flawless in-sync dance routines. They are the Lance Cruz High School dance team. But what does it take to become like that? Well, we took it upon ourselves to find out. Drop the D-Bomb out of the dance team! The first thing you need for a good dance team? Leadership. Hi, I'm Kelsey Ducci. And I'm the captain of the dance team. As a group, we're really close, and that always starts because we go to dance camp in the summer, and we always get really close because it's like three or four days of just working really hard. It just brings the team together. And every good leader needs a sidekick. We usually all bond as a team at practice, a time for us to all hang out and get dancey. And <laughs> I don't know. My favorite dance move is personally the scooter. Um, I learned the scooter in hip hop class I took a few years ago. <laughs> I'm Holly Slizinski and I'm co captain on the dance team. The dance team is really fun and get to see like different kinds of personalities and how everybody gets along and it's it's really fun. Yeah, we basically all just practice really hard and as well as having fun. No one on the dance team denies having fun, but as most people will tell me, the joke is almost always on Courtney. We've convinced Courtney a lot of untrue things that she believes. Jackie Moore um, had everybody convinced Courtney Herbert that she was pregnant, when she really wasn't, but we had Courtney going for a really long time. And then I believed him because uh even my coach was in on it, and even my best one of my best friends on the team, Julie Schuster, oh, she told me that she was pregnant and she wouldn't lie to me. That was funny, I always remember that one. Her stomach might have looked a little bigger that day, so I was just like, <laughs> she must be pregnant. And she was like, well, I was like, who's the father? And then um, she was like, well, I haven't even told the dad yet, so I can't tell you. And then I was like guessing guys and stuff, and she was like, I'm going to see today if it's a boy or a girl, so like my aunt's taking, no, you don't even know, this was so confusing. At dance camp one year, Courtney was my uh, roommate and I stole her dance key because if you lose your lunch card, you have to like go up and do something funny in front of the group. And so I stole her lunch key and the lady got it and she had to perform the fish in front of the whole um, dance camp. It was pretty funny. <laughs> this is the fish out of water. That's why it looks like this. All right. <laughs> But to Courtney's defense, no one can do the scooter quite like she can. <laughs> so the second thing you need for a good dance team, a good sense of humor. But on the second hand, the dance team can't always be about fun and games. You have to have a little drama, and we found it in Ashley. Oh my, George, it'll be a sack. I gotta change my pants. No, you can stand over there. We're pretty all good looking, pretty much. Dancing is the sweetest club ever because look at us. Oh. <laughs> I don't wanna look at the camera. Should I answer it again? Not? Shut up. Stop watching me. Everyone was mean to me. <gasps> <laughs> okay, so you can't just stare at my good self. Are you kidding me? Seriously? Dance team rocks. My socks. Off. I don't even have socks on. Don't look at my toes. Stop, George! Hi, I'm Kelsey Dean and I'm in 11th grade. What kind of click would we be? We'd be really flexible, click. And then there's the underclassmen. We're the sophomores. <laughs> the only sophomores on the team. What the heck? Do you really think you're being interviewed right now? I'm, I'm in. <laughs> okay, yes. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. And the final thing you need for a good dance team good dancers. 